Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kirk Montgomery. First at four on this Tuesday starts with an update on today's breaking news out of Flint. The FBI says it is too early to determine if the stabbing of a Bishop International Airport police officer was an act of terror. The airport is closed until further notice and passengers are advised to check their airline for a status on their flight. The stabbing happened shortly after 10 a.m., forcing the airport to evacuate everyone inside. The suspect was taken into custody, who witnesses described as appearing quoting now blank just totally blank police have been interviewing witnesses who reported that the suspect said Allah Akbar the Arabic phrase for God is great during that stabbing in a statement released less than an hour ago the FBI says it is too early to determine the nature of these alleged statements or whether or not this was an act of terrorism the statement went on to say based on the information that we have at this time we believe this to be an isolated incident we currently have no specific, credible information that there is a threat to the Flint community. Dogs were brought in to help search vehicles after the incident, though it is unclear if anything additional was found. It is believed the one person in custody is the only person involved. According to Flint Media, the suspect is believed to have originated from Quebec and had a Canadian passport. The officer stabbed has been identified as Lieutenant Jeff Neville from the Bishop International Airport. Now, his condition has been upgraded from critical to stable. And just minutes ago, we learned that President Trump has been briefed on what happened by the Homeland Security Advisor. We'll hear from passengers who were at the airport during that incident coming up at 5 o'clock.